these hobby RC planes cost too much for my bank account to handle. So in this video, I'll be trying to see how little money I need to spend to build a budget RC airplane that still has good performance and is relatively durable. I'll be starting with this $1 foam board and some basic tools and RC electronics to see how much I can strip away from an RC airplane while still making it fly. But little did I know that this was going to be one of the most challenging videos that I've done so far because of how little material I forced myself to work with and the countless broken prototypes that it took to finally get a design I was satisfied with. So let's go. At this point, I feel like I should tell you guys that I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing because I've always worked with RC cars and some drones here and there, but this was my first time building an RC airplane, and at this point, I don't even know if my plane would fly. Hopefully, it works. Okay. Alright, I have the body and the wing sketched out, so I'm gonna cut it first so like I get a sense of the thing huh? before I cut more stuff. So I did some research online and I went with this traditional glider styled plane design with a rectangular box as the fuselage that houses all the electronics. You might also notice that I was adding a lot of tape and glue to unnecessary places because I was afraid that it'll break. But those additions ended up adding a lot of weight to the plane that made it very hard to fly in the end. Okay, so I finished cutting out this but I think this wing is a little bit too small. I don't think it can fly so I'm gonna make this bigger. I then cut out two more pieces that I would glue to the end to increase the wingspan so that the final wing has roughly twice the wing area and length. After that was done, I moved on to building the tail. For the rudder and elevator flaps, I used this cool tape trick that I learned online that allows the flaps to move while being easy to replace if they ever break in a crash. Now it's time to add the electronics. So right here we have our two servos that I have already mapped out. Can you move it? Oh my God! I see it moving, so. Oh my God! Wow! And done. That's pretty cool. So I did some cable management. I made a little antenna telephone pole for this. So I'm probably not gonna cover the top up. It's already really heavy and I'm not sure if it's gonna fly. Okay, so everything crashed. So I tested it out last night. It was really dark, so I didn't really record anything. Basically, what happened was that the plane was either diving down or it was kind of uh, angling up in kind of like a stall. So I think, first of all, we need to correct the center of gravity on this. And also, uh, the weight is too heavy, I think. I'm gonna trim it down to just one piece this kind of like that and while i was not recording i 3d printed this head mount so i could attach the motor to the front of the plane more easily but this 3d printed part ended up being extremely heavy and it probably caused it to crash since it made the entire plane so nose heavy but one thing that did not break was uh like the rear uh, steering so I'm, I'm pretty proud of that it, it did not break maybe i think this fin is like too big if you guys know anything about airplanes then comment down below if i should make this smaller all right so this is version two of the plane i changed the front fuselage into just this very small mount right here that attaches to the motor down here we have a compartment for the lipo battery how i attached the wings and the fins that so i use these l brace uh 3d prints to like mount it with hot glue now on this side we have all the electronics uh going from the motor to the esc and then the receiver let's turn everything on and hopefully it works all right throttle test Uh, I'm 
we're gonna do a running start. Hopefully that works. Oh, no, no, no. Alright, so this is the second time it broke right here. So I think it's not strong enough. This is like 10% infill. So I probably need a lot more. Probably need to print this as a solid part. Alright, I'm gonna just toss this manually just to see like if it can fly. Okay, so at this point, I really didn't know what was wrong with it, and I basically gave up on this project since school started and I didn't have time to keep prototyping. Well, now that I'm revisiting this project and editing this video a year later, I think I know what was wrong, and it's that the plane is still way too heavy for its sides. If you look at this footage of me just throwing it without any power, it dove immediately after it left my hand, which means that it was not possible for it to sustain flight while traveling at such a slow speed. But at the same time, the motor wasn't strong enough to get enough airspeed in the first place. Okay, I'm back. Yeah! All right, new year, new me. I think I'll be able to salvage this. I guess start with a complete new frame. I just went to Dollar Tree. Got these like $1 boards. Uh, this, this one I actually got from Target. I know they look the same, but this entire board is lighter than just this wing. Like vi very like visibly lighter. So I think it's just a matter of finding the right phone. I think the foam is the answer. I'm pretty much just gonna copy this uh, wing design because I think it has worked. I printed a new uh, mount, so, and this is a lot more solid than the last one. Hopefully it solves the problem. Okay, so this is the upgraded version. Everything is using the Dollar Tree foam board and definitely I think twice as light. And then I put the battery right here because I was trying to find the center of gravity. You want it like that because that keeps the whole thing naturally having a positive incline. So it will hopefully fly, uh, Hopefully fly. <laughs> Alright, I probably have one try to do this. Oh, it works! It works! Oh my god! Wow, it works! Oh my god! I didn't expect it to be that fast. Oh, this thing got stripped. But this time the plane flew. Let's see. Will we be able to fly again? Kind of. Alright, let's give it a second try and see what happens. This thing broke again. This is the weak spot, but it does fly now, which is pretty cool. And it kind of works, the controls work. Like I was pitching it down and it pitched down. Oh wait, this entire thing is broken. <laughs> I think there's definitely a way to not break it as much. I don't know how to make it uh, fly very slowly. That's the challenge I'm having. So I still need to build more of like a very slow glider style plane. I need to elevate this adapter even up so that even when it crashes, the propellers don't hit the ground. It's the foam that hits the ground. Another thing that I have to work on is building a sturdy fuselage. I think definitely some sort of aluminum rod or a carbon fiber rod is gonna do it. The wingspan still needs to be larger. Uh, it's just a matter of finding the right center of gravity, the right wingspan, and a strong Fuselage. That's gonna be the next uh, project that I'm gonna work on. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. As if you guys want a budget airplane with a one dollar foam board from Lawler Tree that you can fly for five seconds, then this is the design that you're going for. I'll see you next time.